<laughs> that individual. Thus, the Committee of Eleven on Postponed Matters devised and proposed the Electoral College. <laughs> hey. What's going on, Dad? Oh, just working away. Yeah. I thought I'd sneak up on you. Read, you did. <laughs> I heard you heard your voice earlier. Yeah, yeah. I figured you know I was here. Uh, yeah. What are you? Mom said you're making is it orange chocolate? Orange, dark orange flavored chocolate. Mm-hmm. You're doing uh, bars and breakup. Do you like the orange chocolate? Yeah, it's good. Well, it sounds like the. Uh, the water's heating up on that. Or you can hear it, huh? Yeah, yeah. Like, well, I think the, some of the water is coming over or something. Yeah. Well, we yeah. might have to take a little water out. I Sounds like it. it's working. Though. It's boiling. Yeah. Gotta get that sun hot. It's doing its job. So, how do you guys uh, flavor this with the flavoring oils in the chocolate? Yeah, just take like uh, the orange bottle and. I, uh, I used to do it by shots, but I've done it so much now that I can tell how much to put in. Mm. Just by pouring it. Yeah, just by pouring it, so. Is there much viscosity difference when you add the oil? Does it make it thinner or anything? Yeah, it does slightly, yeah. Uh. And people at home could make their own whatever kind of flavor chocolate they want to if they just get like flavoring oils and yeah it's it got to be oil though don't use uh, a water base yeah. <laughs> a water based flavor it won't mix yeah all right customize your own chocolate yeah why not yeah just do trial and error because people yeah. will say how much should i add yeah just, just yeah just add a little bit and taste it and add a little bit until you get it the way you want it yeah, yeah you can just like taste it before you uh start covering it with things or yeah. making it yeah, that's all. You can always add more, but you can't add less. Yeah, okay, you can't take it out once you. Uh, I guess you could just add more add chocolate. Add more chocolate. <laughs> that's about it. Like, oh darn! You gotta use more chocolate. <laughs> Joe, what are you working on? Um, I'm making the PB fluff cups. Oh. Except we're doing something new and exciting. We usually put the peanut, we funnel peanut butter in, mm -hmm. and then we spread around the PB on top. But this time, we're putting the putting the fluff on the bottom first. Hmm. Then we'll funnel in the. Wow. What made you guys want to do that? I don't know. We were just talking about it, and figured this would be easier. And it is because when you put the peanut butter in, and then you put this on top of it, sometimes it mixes. Uh, yeah. And uh, this way, we can just funnel the peanut butter right on top of it. Hmm. We were thinking about. Maybe trying to heat this up? Yeah. But I don't think it'll work. I think Max said he tried it. Yeah. Max, you said you tried to heat this up, right? Uh, yeah, yeah I mean, results. I tried to make fluff, fluff or, I don't know, fluff and peanut butter truffles at home once. Yeah. And I couldn't melt the fluff. And, you know, like when we go to melt the marshmallows for the cream eggs, like it's, it put a bunch of water in it and it takes forever to melt them, so. Okay. There's probably a way to do it. Probably is, yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Not us. Maybe somebody out there knows. Yeah, one of our subscribers. If you know <laughs> of a good way to melt fluff, let us know in the comments. Oh, yeah. From experience. <laughs> Smash that like button. I, I just want to say from experience because a lot of people that say, oh, well, I would think that you could, like, well, right. if you have experience, yeah. let us know. If you yeah. just think something, please don't, test please don't let first. us know. <laughs> test yeah, it test it. <laughs> Because otherwise we're going to get a lot of comments Ooh, from people yeah. we won't that be don't know what they're the talking ones. about. Yeah, yeah. 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 That would be a lot easier for us. We can sift through the good ones if they've already been sifted through. Yep. Yeah. We've done the double boiler. We've taken it out and tried to heat it up. We've mm -hmm. put it in the microwave. We've done all that stuff. So yeah. we can pick anything else. Mm -hmm. Look us up. <laughs> yes, ma'am? I have a box here from Kevin Hill. He sent me one time a tie-dyed hoodie. Wow. And I have advanced knowledge that he uh, is sending me tie-dyed stuff. That does sound pretty advanced. It does. How does he get this sort of technology? I think he used UPS. Mm. Yeah. So. Wow. Oh. 
Don't go pointing that thing everywhere. You think it'll go off? Probably. Dude, can you believe Brad gave me something this sharp? <laughs> <laughs> it is a sharp knife. This is a sharp, tie-dyed, spring-loaded knife. <laughs> and uh, Brad gave it to me for Christmas, and Steve was like, why would you give her something like that? <laughs> She's gonna hurt herself. So I'm trying very hard. I've only caught myself six times. I'm trying very hard not to hurt myself. People are gonna take that seriously. If you say that. I haven't caught myself. <laughs> cut away. I know that. Don't cut your finger. Yeah, you know, basic stuff. I've done okay. Mm -hmm. Like I said. I've... Oh, sh deadly winks. Oops, I almost did it towards myself. <laughs> Can't have that. I have to. I have to try to not cut you. Mm -hmm. Or the boxes. It's. I might have to get Kara in here. You gotta start doing your finger workouts. I know. I did push-ups this morning. Mm, that does work out your fingers quite a not, bit. Not enough. How do you work on finger strength? Very carefully. You won't tell me? You, I think it'd probably just be going like a lot of that. Okay, you yeah. think you're gripping my mouth. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. He wasn't kidding. I'll put my tie-dyed knife over here. Wow. Look, sunglasses? Tie-dyed sunglasses. <laughs> tie-dyed. Yeah. <laughs> Beach towel. Wow. Oh. And that's Color Tone. That's who... Um, that's the company? That's who makes the, the tie-dyed hoodie that he sent me. Mm. It's Color Tone. That's pretty neat. So does he work for that company? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's called Office Basics is the name of it. Mm. And I actually got our maroon um, insulated shopping bags from him. Mm. What do we got here? Oh, it seems like it's got a little bit of Long spandex sleeve? in it. Yeah. Oh, right. nice. Very nice. Oh, I like Very those bright. colors. Oh, Pretty nice. sweet. Yeah. But wait, there's <laughs> more. Is that a drawstring? Is there an apron? No, it's not That's an apron. That's a drawstring. Oh, <laughs> a drawstring, Kara. <laughs> I thought it was an apron for a second. That's a drawstring. I thought it was folded up. I thought mm -hmm. you were going to like unfold it. Check it mm -hmm. out. Wow. Oh. That might be something that our viewers would like. Wow, that's soft. To get in uh, for Does Martin. this come mm -hmm. with it? That, no, that was my I know. gift <laughs> from Brad. And then World uh, Star oh, Hip Hop. <laughs> wow. World Star Hip Hop. Gold That's me. Bond. Yes. Okay. What do you think? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say it looks like yeah. you're on the beach if you weren't wearing jeans and a hoodie. <laughs> just look well, at Joe's there. face when he was just like. I know, he's like this. <laughs> He's silently judging you. That's okay. So cool. <laughs> he just so wishes he was that cool. Where's the weight room? Which Never mind. Why do you need the side. weight room? <laughs> no, where's the beach? Yeah. Oh. A yeah. tie machine? Oh, I have a tie dye machine. Oh. Mm. <laughs> his name's Kevin Hill? Yes. That's <laughs> his name. Okay. I, I just need now. shoes that are tie dyed. I know. Shoes. No, you got a new uh, knapsack. Yeah. Nap sack? Nap sack. Nap. <laughs> you, you're okay. napping in there. Oh, look at Steve's a star. Do, mm -hmm. Does he know he's a star? Mm -hmm. I don't know yeah, if he I knows. Yeah, I felt her put it on me. Oh, yeah. Sam did that. It's like the new I'm a I'm a I put a piece of tape on his he's back like, he's before like you got that, right? He's like people just like sticking things on. Well, because he can't, he can't <laughs> reach, so it's perfect, right? This is right there. Can we put this sticker on his back? Which sticker would you show it? I can't show it? No. All right. You can show it and then blur it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go look at it. All right, we'll be right back after this sticker. <laughs> One eternity later. Whoa! I'm shooting a video. What'd you get here? Shh. Whoa. I'm shooting a video. Oh, sorry. That's why you're so quiet. Yeah. Don't interrupt. Max, this is too loud. Sorry. Better. Just a little bit at a time. As long as you can get one of these done in an hour, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> I made twice as much noise. Yeah, <laughs> oh, golly. Practice makes perfect. Or at least better. <laughs> you know what they say practice fills the corn search bed. So. That's the ancient Chinese proverb. Yeah, yeah. Trying true, man. Mm -hmm. So we, we've shown, we've shown print and trays before, right? What trays? Print and trays. Yep. Yeah. I think that like on videos that show something that we've already shown, we should like put a little quiz on it. <laughs> like how much do you remember? <laughs> what would we quiz people on? 
How many times has Max? Yeah, right. How many times do you think Max has done these? Uh, I uh, couldn't even guess that, man. A bajillion, maybe. See, I've been trying to like just press it like just into the corn section instead of like really shoving it all in there to like mm -hmm. see if the cups collapse a little less. But mm -hmm. just never had a whole lot of luck right there in the middle. Wow. You see? Mm -hmm. Sorry, right, it's gonna come out of my dad's fear, fear and food rations. I always say that beer and food <laughs> rations. <laughs> You're getting so good at switching the letters that you can't help it. Yeah, I do it on accident now. Mom did it the other day, and I was like, you been hanging out with Craig, or...? <laughs> on purpose or accident? I think she did it on purpose. Yeah, I don't remember exactly what we were talking about. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it almost, it reminds me of, like, when kids can, like, talk backwards or something. Like, <laughs> I feel like you're a secret genius, Craig. Yeah. That's not bad. That's what we're looking for here at Hercules. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Not great, but not bad. Not the baddest. Like your mom says, dream small. <sighs> then you never let down. Mm -hmm. You don't expect anything. <laughs> I know, I'm working on my sweat over here. <laughs> Yeah, me too. <laughs> Filming people work is hard work. It tires you out, doesn't I, it? I tell you what. Yeah, and like we only have to work all day, but you have to watch like nine different people work I all day. Know. Which it's basically like, like I'm doing, doing nine, nine times a work. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, honestly, just talking about that is like actually kind of like good. <laughs> It's funny to think that this is what this whole YouTube channel is about. So many people at work. Yeah, yeah, that's like the first line out of my mouth whenever anybody comes here is like, we have to work no matter what, so if we can make yeah. people happy while doing it, that's awesome. Yeah, and I never, that's why I never started, I didn't start a YouTube channel yeah. until I made one video and I was like, ah, maybe like four people will watch it. And then like eventually a bunch of people watch it and then I was like, I guess people like watching people at work, right, okay, I can do that. It kind of reminds me of that <laughs> the line from The Office where Pam's like, you know, I guess things look different to people like in, in a love interest or whatever. You remember yeah. that line? Yeah. Like, I guess that's it. It's like, you take it for granted. It's It's been in your house your whole life. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't seem special to me. And like, our family dynamic just seemed like normal. I thought everyone's family was like that. And I got in so many comments saying that it's not. So I'm like, oh, wow, well, I appreciate my family even more. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. We're both we're both pretty lucky, man. I gotta say. Yeah. As far as families go. Yeah. I'd say so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I guess it's like that show, like How It's Made, that used to be on Dis mm. Discovery Channel. You remember? I remember as a kid being like, "Man, who would watch this?" And now, like, <laughs> it'll come on YouTube, and we're like, "Oh boy, what's this one about?" Yeah. yeah. <laughs> parts and you're like oh how do I do this you're like I'm so nervous <laughs> I remember shooting that first video in the search room in the basement yeah yeah but I saw one one that's already collapsed right oh. here near my thumb oh did you hit it with your thumb I don't, I don't know I don't know how this thing works Greg <laughs> yeah and your dad's like what do you mean just do it <laughs> yeah I mean, even if you mess up, you just do it try again. it again. It's yeah. not like you're in a, 
Oh man, I used all that cornstarch up. It's ruined. You gotta toss it now. Yeah, I don't know. I used to be a lot more nervous about stuff. Yeah. I guess once you've done it like 2,000 times, you stop being nervous. That's all it takes. Mm -hmm. All it takes is three years worth of practice. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, Easter. Easter time is when you got hired, right? A little before Easter. Uh, yeah, I think it was like right at the end of February. Oh, okay. So, so you're coming up on three years then. I think so. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's hard for me to remember like how many seasons I've been through. Time flies. It really does, man. Three years already. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. It feels like I've been working here for like six months. You know. <laughs> Do you think that like we're gonna get to be like 45 and look back and be like, wow, it feels like we were just 20. Like do you I think it like, so. you know, like that's gonna fly too? Yeah, um, in 13 years we'll be 40. Well, 12 years for me. Yeah, well, 12 years for me and like so another month. month. <laughs> feels like it's far away but then like once it comes you're gonna be like oh man that year flew yeah you know, like, yeah the summer i'm looking forward to summer oh me too and especially since i just got back from ethiopia where it was way warmer than here little tease, yeah. <laughs> yeah i came back with like a farmer's tan yeah. even though i was wearing sunscreen don't worry well you know it's pretty my, sunny there i hear my many moms of the internet <laughs> did you wear your sunscreen your bike's bright all right but did you wear 15 or 45 uh 30 Oh, okay. Right. I actually read that I think the difference Over between 30. 30 and 50 SPS, SPF yeah. is like 1% more of yeah, coverage. I think, I think I saw like a Mythbusters back in the day. Yeah. And they were like, yeah, there's no difference over yeah. over 30. Yeah. Which is kind of weird. Yeah. It's, it's just like diminishing returns, really. It's really it. I guess I would think, I mean... Right, UV rays can't make it through glass or anything, right? Uh, I don't know that that's true. I think, I think there's some material that UV rays like can't pass through. Like cement? Uh, <laughs> no, dude, it goes right through. <laughs> it. Right through. Bricks went right through it. <laughs> glass, though? Not a like chance. Like water, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think that they could just put something like that in it, you know? Just put sunscreen on the window. Yeah. Oh man, I never thought of right? that. Double protection. Mm -hmm. Or just don't have windows. <laughs> <laughs> just don't have them. Just don't go Get outside. Get yourself all that nice UV rays. <laughs> just don't go outside. 100 SPF. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty good. We tried living that basement life for a while. Yeah. Like people always say, like, oh, I'm sure you guys missed the basement. And I don't know if you're still nostalgic about that a little bit, but I know my parents are always like, oh. not a bit. Like from day one, your dad was like, "I can't wait to get out of here." I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cause like even even the house, he's like, "I've never liked this house. I just lived here because yeah. they couldn't. Basically, they couldn't afford to move anywhere, and yeah. they couldn't like they could. The only reason they were still in that house because they couldn't afford to have a storefront. But that's been his his dream yeah. for decades. Really though, yeah. So it's just really nice to kind of see that it achieved. a dream payoff. Yeah. Yeah. And like for real. Yeah. I feel like my parents were literally the American dream. Living so. the dream. Yeah. yeah. It's awesome. I, I think that's why people like the channel is like it's the it's a success story yeah it's like a, the american dream and it's also just people who get along and there's no drama and it's just yeah. like they're having fun at work and i think that's what uh, a lot of people say that they have been they felt inspired to start their own candy making business and i think for some people candy making is the right thing for them hmm. but i think for other people they're just confusing the positive work atmosphere where like you yeah. could have a sandwich shop oh, that's yeah. like just as fun as here or like a bike store or like you know a rock yeah. climbing gym just just like you know as long as you're it's just not what like you're a, selling yeah it's just like it's just the atmosphere How you're selling it yeah, yeah your parents i'm telling you like I've, I've worked for other owners too, and I, I always think that when you work with your owners, like the business is always like pretty good. Yeah, you just have a lot of respect. Yeah, yeah, and they understand like what you're doing, you understand what they're doing, like, you know, yeah, maybe it just comes down to respect, but your parents seriously are just so progressive with like, I, I don't know, man. They try to do everything right. Yeah. Yeah, I like when um, bosses will not ask their employees to do something that they won't do. Yeah. You know? Yeah, oh man. One of the other owners, 
with like clean bathrooms with me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That I work with. So. Yeah, like when I was a shift supervisor at Core, I like whenever there was like a job that no one wanted to do, I was like, all right, well, I'm doing it. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna ask one of them to do it because I feel like you just get more respect. Yeah, if you that. do the dirty jobs. And yeah, stuff. yeah. Disrespect you more. Yeah, you need a leader. Yeah, not, not just a boss. But then, like, I don't know, with like everything that's like gone out the window over the past like twenty years, you know, that other businesses have stopped doing. Like, mm -hmm. your parents are like trying to start to or, mm -hmm. like, do more. Or, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, man, they just they know how to treat employees. The middle one looks decent. Yeah, I thought this was a pretty good tray too. Yeah, it's like a little bit cracked, but it doesn't look like it's so no. deformed, like you can't use it or something. And like when they're when they're cracked, but they're just a little shallower, I just fill them up higher. Yeah. So no worries. Little tricks of the trade for everyone who's got their own starch molds at home. If you do have your own starch molds, just remember to only use hundred-year-old tools. Otherwise, <laughs> it doesn't work. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, uh, this summer my parents have been uh, threatening to make another one of these for uh, oh. the vegan stuff so they can try to make oh. vegan creams. Uh, because otherwise, they're, I think yeah. it's only one that has um, butter in it, right? The chocolate buttermilk? Um, there's the chocolate buttercream and the buttercream. Oh, okay. They're both. Yeah, so both of those contain butter in them. So yeah. there's a chance for cross-contamination. And I don't know, some, most vegans I think don't really Have care. Like we took a poll and most of them didn't care, but some of them did. So we're like, all right, well, we'll just make a different one with a different... Sorry, yeah. I don't know, like how many you know micrograms of animal protein yeah. you have to ingest before you're sick, but like why? Oh yeah, it wouldn't be like a sick. It'd just be like uh, I don't know. They just yeah, don't want to even touch thing. it. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're getting there. when it goes down like that, I probably just cracked a bunch of cups. Hmm. Ooh, I don't know. Right that time, only six in the <laughs> middle, yeah. So Ooh. can you explain for the people who are new exactly what you're doing like with the, the whisk and then with the ruler and then... Yeah, for sure. Stuff. Um, so we're just, you know, the cornstarch has been sitting in, in the room for a few days. Uh, so, you know, it settles into itself. Um, so we fill it back up with all, you know, the rest of the cornstarch so that we're right up to the brim. I like passed the brim, really. Yeah, yeah, you know, because it's going to spill out and even itself out and everything. So you want to make sure there's plenty in there. Um, so here, once I get this last scoop in, we take the whisk just to kind of fluff up the bottom layer mm -hmm. and really do everything around the side to equalize it, you know, on the top here. Um, just get it close, make sure there's no like real deep Yeah, and make sure it's, just, it's not like packed in. Yep, so there's no packing. And honestly, really, when you're doing this too, if there's a cream that got left behind or something, you'll feel that getting knocked around. But I feel like this is mostly just to like loosen up the bottom layer and then like fill in all the the super deep spots so that when you go to do this, you know, you're really filling across the whole thing. There's no no layers that are like a little lower than the ruler or anything, so. so that's why these look like perfectly flat. Yeah. Of all those previous steps. Yep. Yep. I know, it all seems like, I just take the whole process for granted now, where I'm just like, oh, well, it's, it's so straightforward or something. Okay. And then, uh, I mean, they know how this works and everything? I mean, we just yeah, you can explain it for new people. We've just got um, these boards in here that we can slide in and out with a bunch of different shapes on them. Um, so right now we've got our cream one in there. And we're just going to push it into the starch. Get all of our cream cups. And then I'm uh, going to fill back up with cream. Not as pretty as the last mm. one. Looks like cream. Yep. This is, good. is this cream all right? This is not. It's definitely not. Oh, yeah. This is that fake stuff. Mm -hmm. Hey, what the heck? What was that? What was what? I didn't see anything. Oh, okay. Well, as long as you didn't see it. Yeah, then it doesn't exist. You would never lie. 
I never have. I never will. Eh, we'll see what the future holds. Is that shot glass stained or is it yeah. just that color? What I mean, it it's it's oh, stained glass. But oh, it's, okay, yeah, okay. it's like pink glass. Yeah. Possible yeah. stained. Yeah, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. this one. It's just so weird too. Like the other color, or the other like flavors, like have color or something. Like mm -hmm. they, they look how they smell. Yeah. But look at this one, man. Like you can't even see it. Yeah. Look at this one. You can't even see I it. Know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I thought you were on my side, Craig. Yeah. Call me Joe DiMaggio. I can't even tell if I'm mixing it all in. Want to make sure that it's lime enough? I mean, I guess if I have to do uh, it, you know. if someone's got to do it, somebody's got to fall. I Craig, will so. help you out with that. And if people are, if people really think this is interesting, I think we did a whole video on how this was made when we did the first ones. Yeah, yeah and, and it was uh, chocolate covered with white chocolate. Actually, yes. we're actually is... saving a little bit of this for the white too. Oh, cool. Because the lime just oh, you got some. I think it just splashed back on me, so yeah, mm -hmm. you really do have to taste it now because I don't yeah. know how much I just splashed out. Hmm. Oh, the, the flavoring oil? Oh yeah, yeah. it was clear, so I guess if it was the candy, it'd be white too. Yeah, so. and it would burn. Yeah. <laughs> um, the oil, it pretty much just like all stays along the edge. Yeah. So like, you know, as it's going, like right now, I don't know if you can see it pulling up over here. So, hmm. if you're not careful, splash it all over the place. This is a good tip for everyone at home doing this. Mm -hmm. Their candy stove double boiler. Hey, you know, while we have people on there too, like, this reminds me, when I'm looking at it, smelling it, and I'm looking at this, like, it reminds me of, like, Luigi's Italian Ice. Mm. And I'm like, do we even have to put color in here? kind of reminds me of, like, uh, key lime flavored yogurt. Mm. Just because, like, the consistency uh, yeah. and look of it. Yeah, I could totally see that. Although, I guess, usually yogurt's not quite this runny. <laughs> Heated up key lime, say, yeah, yeah. key lime that you left on the counter for three days uh, in like Florida, <laughs> outside. Yeah, in the on the counter outside. <laughs> like they have, it's very common in Florida. They have outdoor kitchens. Yeah, probably a lot more common there. Out there. Yeah. Oh, do you want to taste before I put the color? Uh, yeah. Don't don't flavor without Craig. Because you guys will often like, I'll just be like, all right, so don't do this thing without yeah. me being there. And then, oh, you saw the note. Yeah, and then I, I come back and you guys already did it. Like, oh, oh I was like, tell you, weren't we? I'm sitting there stirring it up and I'm like, okay, it's at 120, you know, soon we'll call Craig in. And I'm like, I'm going to forget. Yeah. Like, it's going as down. soon as I tell myself, <laughs> hey, don't forget that. The next thing that I do is forget it. Mm -hmm. It's all you. All right. Hmm. I think in the beginning I didn't taste a whole lot, but now now I taste some, and I feel like if you put in more, it would be too much. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I think that that's the first like second that I put it in, I couldn't really taste a whole lot, but then it all came in. So like, do you taste like the sweetness of just the cream? No, I taste the lime. Okay, okay. that's, that's I mean. good. Yeah, yeah. that's like what I'm trying to like just barely override. Yeah. Okay. Cool. This is like my favorite color. Yeah. Too, so let's see if I can get it right. Oh no, the cap fell off. <laughs> Extra green this time. Just four drops? I don't remember how many I usually do. I, I used to do like three, six, and twelve. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. It comes out like. I, I think it looks like that uh, Mountain Dew from Taco Bell. <laughs> One of these days, I'll have to like do a real colorful batch. Mm -hmm. You can uh, you can film it because like all the colors like they sink to the bottom, they come back up yeah. to the top, they're all mixing together. We did that before the we did a mango cream video. See, and that I was, was just really thinking, colorful and cool. Yeah. Looking, yeah. Mango is like one of the most like rich colors I go for. Yeah, and I, I, I really like that video. It was fun. Man, you didn't get to taste any. I brought some of the naked ones home the other day. <laughs> and I have pickles in my fridge, and somehow pickle juice got onto my creams, man. <sighs> now there's no naked mango cream seed. Jeez, a little. I know, it's heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. I don't know, pickled pickle mango creams? Yeah, it could work. 
spicy pickle mango creams. Hmm. Just, just keep adding another layer. Spicy pickle mango creams. Pulled pork. Spicy. Caramel. Spicy, salty, caramely. <laughs> Burger. <laughs> mango creams. Shrimp mango. Alright, I think we're good to go. Let's take one more of these. You didn't see this. Oh, that's where the laser's coming from. Alright. We gotta write down. This is a secret notebook. Uh, I could show you, but you know, we'd have to delete the video. Mm. So, yeah, it's our it's our cream book. We just write down. I write down the flavor, um, how many shots, the temp that we got to, so that you know if it's too hard or too soft, we know next time. Mm -hmm. And then how many trays we get, so that you know we can print print the amount mm -hmm. you know, before mm -hmm. we start. Instead of do you write down how many drops of food coloring too? No, mm -hmm. no, I, I used to, but you know, you can just add more. Yeah, and uh, like I said, I mean I'm. I was used to doing like either three, six, or nine, depending on, or twelve. You know, mm. how rich of a color I was going for. And this one's kind of like a mild color. Yeah, I mean, I could get it like, like more like lime skin, but I just think that that's a cool yeah, color. I so. think it looks good too, like yeah. that. That's what you guys did last time too. Mm. And you know, it's good to stay consistent, mm. like so people know what they're getting. Yeah. I guess you know I did that experiment back in the day. That was. It was all about like the association between like. You know, seeing your food and tasting it, mm -hmm. um, and we found out that you know it has a big effect. So when somebody bites into a cream, if I can make it a color that makes it taste more like what we're going for, mm -hmm. it's awesome. Yeah. Or especially like if people see the old cream video and then they buy one after seeing this one, yeah, it'll look the like, same. What is that? Both times, the same this time and last time. Yeah. Yeah, I guess if somebody else was doing the creams, I'd probably write it down. But since mm -hmm. it's me all the time, yeah. yeah Hey, we got video evidence. Yeah, yeah, there you go. We got that too. Thanks, dog. Oh, well, we know. That's what friends are for. I sure do know. <laughs> Going Mach 5. Fleece it out, man. Think and flicker. I don't remember any others. That might have been it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I want the promotion. I, I just can't help myself. The secret handshake and everything. Yeah. And, uh oh. I ain't gonna focus up. Are you supposed to just not pay attention to anything when you're doing this? Yeah. Just turn your brain off? It's like. Just talk about the office. It basically turns your brain off. Even that's like. It's using my brain too much. <laughs> so I need to use your brain for something else other than. Don't mess up. It's really, I don't know what it is because it's not a focus thing. It's just like, you have to like, let, you know, like your body knows what to do. You just have to let it do its thing. Mm -hmm. I remember in the beginning, I was trying to figure out like, okay, at what point do I start putting the stick down? You know, because you're going to push cream out when you go to push the stick back in. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's like, you can't really measure it. You just... As soon as like the cream hits the bowl, you have to like already be putting the stick back down, you know? Mm -hmm. You just gotta know, man. Yeah, it really... I don't know what the word is for it. You just make one up. Creamology. I was like trying to make kismet and transcendental fit together. It didn't really work for me. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You bet. One down, ten to go. Hmm. It's been a while since I've done a full batch. It's like a little weird. Yeah. You just been doing a bunch of half batches? Yeah, it's been two whole weeks now. Maybe even three. Just because you guys did so many leading up to Christmas? Yeah, we were loaded up. Yeah. So then you guys did some like Christmas molds and hard candy and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, this is one of the things that'll it'll stay for a while. People, I think people, um, they ask, like, oh, is this with, this one made fresh? It's like, well, it's, it's chocolate. It's got a shelf life of about a year, so. Yeah. And we cannot keep anything on the shelf for a year, so no matter what, it's all, it's not going to taste yeah. any different. Fresh. 
It's not like a, I think people are thinking of bakeries. Yeah, it's weird because can, candy is not. I, I don't know. It's weird. It's not like regular food. Yeah. Like and if it like if you made it today or you made it three months ago, as long as exactly it yeah, as long as it was yeah. kept in a pro- the proper environment, like dry, cool environment, it can taste exactly the same. I don't know if people believe us when we say this, but like the creams are way better. Like, yeah, I've heard that. Like yeah, they get better. creamier as Whoa. they sit. Yeah. Like. I like to, you know, the naked ones that I bring home, I'll mm-hmm. keep them and I'll just crack them in half and mm-hmm. pull them apart. Mm-hmm. And if, like, it should just drip in the middle. Like, mm-hmm. it should be not granular. Like, so if and people, once they're like that, that's when I'll start eating them. Yeah. So if people get their creams, their mouth. they could, like, let them age for like a month before they eat them. If they can, if they yeah. have the, um, what yeah. I think of, self control right? to yeah, do that. that. Like, got a box of creams, but I'm going to wait a month before I can eat them. Well, you just have to buy one every month. Or you can eat the nut cups good. before then. Yeah. Just eat the nut cups. Yeah, the nut cups. Just eat one macerated. a day. Yeah, just try good. to eat one a day. <laughs> Start with the nut cups. It's hard, man. I used to buy a, like a quarter pound every week when I first started working here. Yeah? For yourself? Mm-hmm. And you don't really like candy. Nope. <laughs> nope. I wanted to try them all. But uh, right, you know, even just going like, through that, yeah, just to like, you know, understand where we yeah. were. and. Mm-hmm. And all that, but uh, yeah, I ended up, ended up eating the whole box. You gotta do it for work, you know? Yeah, it'd be kind of irresponsible rough, if you didn't do that. It really would be. And you just can't have that. No, I didn't want your dad yelling at me. Either. No, he's, no. He's pretty Did you eat your creams? Yeah, right? <laughs> you can't come back to work till you eat all that candy. One of these days, I think it'd be cool to like heat the cream up to like 170 or something, just get it super thin and see just how fast you really could drop creams. Mm-hmm. I mean, they'd be rocks, but mm. it'd be cool to see how, how quick you could go. Have you ever seen those people do those dances where like they just have like, it's like them in the middle and then there's like two dummies on either side? No. Nah. I wonder if we could like rig something like that up for dropping like a whole row of cream at once. Be awesome. Mm-hmm. All right. Time to get low. I could go lower. <laughs> yeah, they look all right. I'm just looking for the levels to make sure they're not. Too yeah, low. See if there's any there. Just add a little bit. Yeah. All right. I don't know if you can really see on camera. You really have to get like right on the. Like that's why I get low because otherwise, um, like from here it looks like this is like a sixteenth of an inch or something. But if I get down here, okay, never mind. Looks the same. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, Max. I know. It's a lot of hard work setting this thing up, <laughs> but uh, somebody's got to do it. So. Yeah. Not, not just anyone can do it. Nope. No, you, it takes years of training. Yeah, it's a years good thing we've had it for months so you can have years of practice on it. Yeah, I'm a quick learner, what can I say? <laughs> yep, not for the really difficult part. Max, you going to need to take a break? Honestly, I'm actually going <laughs> to... I'm talking all this oh, time, yeah. but now I'm like, oh, there you, you know what? Raise the thing so things can actually go through it. Yeah, the curtains like break a little bit too. So Should we know, raise this thing too so they can come on the other side? No, I like to let them just like bunch up here. Up. Yeah, <laughs> just like really smash together. <laughs> yeah, are, you, are you looking at the, the curtain? Yeah, like I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can definitely see it. You see yeah. like little circles or whatever that are like kind of dripping through it? Yeah, like they're the circle on each side kind of? Um, well, yeah, those are, those are like kind of thin spots. They're yeah. actually looking pretty good relatively, but like I'm talking right here in the middle. You see all can those? Can you go lift this up more so we can help oh. this yet? Okay. Okay. Oh, not yet. All those ones? Yeah, the ones that are just falling yeah, down. these right here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, those are like potential breaks in the curtain, so mm. when something's passing underneath it. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah I just saw that, yeah. yeah. That's, not, that's not good. Yeah. So what do you but, do to correct that? Um, you either move this around. Uh, it's very, very delicate. 
Um, so you can move it around and sometimes you find a spot that works perfect. You can slow the belt down a little bit. We've tried to build up a pile on the bottom before, but you can't really do that with the marshmallows because then it pushes them all over the place mm. and it backs them up. Um, but yeah, we usually get it to work. Yeah. The past couple of times we've had a lot of breakage and it's covered them anyway. Yeah, because uh, it goes through, through so slowly. Yeah, we did have to run it like the slowest we've ever run it, but it, it worked. Yeah. So. Yeah. But still, if we can just like move it half an inch and get it to stay, yeah, that's what we're going for. Yeah, and it's just like sort of trial and error, like move it this way, does it work? Move it that way, does it work? Um, moving it towards the front of the belt um, usually makes it stronger in the center, and then moving it back, you know, towards this side makes it stronger on the sides. <laughs> okay. But uh. You know, you're really trying to find that sweet spot right Sounds like you've done this before. A couple of times. Just a couple of times. Have you done this before? Are you sure you're supposed to open bags like that, Max? No. Do you have any? my mom? Um, I probably should. She is the marshmallow expert. I'm sorry. I won't won't tell her about this. Thank you, man. Do you have any tips, though? Like, have you guys ever talked about it? Mm, No. It's top secret. It's above my pay grade. Oh, really? She didn't even tell you? Not even me. Wow. In your family. So yeah. I guess I shouldn't even ask that because there's no way she's done it. <laughs> so what do you think, Craig? I think I think one of these days we should just do everything the way you tell us to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, what do you think? <laughs> I do have a lot of candy knowledge. Got any pointers for marshmallows? But if you were going to do it, how would you, how'd you set it up? Just like that. Yeah? You did, you done good, kid. You know, I was kind of reading my mind. Uh, what the heck? Yeah, I saw your ideas. It's kind of rude. Yeah. Stay out of my mind, man. I saw some stuff I really didn't want to see. Like, like, That's why I'm saying stay out. It's not good for me or you. That thing with the tricycle, man? What, what the heck's up with Let's that? Let's just not talk about that. Oh, wow. Never ended up. <laughs> oh, I close. thought that was getting close. So you like to live dangerously, Max. <laughs> My middle name is dangerous. Ah. That's the marshmallows. Oh yeah, I see one where uh, there's a little bear spot. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. But I figure I'll just... I'll just run over the patch. Yeah. So now are you getting pretty good at uh, simultaneously just... Or not simultaneously, continuously uh, doing... Running this one? Yeah. 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 (laughs) Depends on what you're running. Yeah. I feel like for marshmallows that's relatively easy compared to... Other yeah, stuff. I don't really do marshmallows often, but uh, they just run a little bit slower. You know, I mean, right now I've already resigned to the fact that I'm going to have to patch them, so I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll just put them on the tray and then patch them. Yeah. Just do like, uh, what, three, three trays worth or something like that, and then, or three I just did cuts worth or so? Um, I mean, I just, I emptied two bags, so I wanted to get them covered right away so that, you know, the marshmallow doesn't go stale or anything. Yeah. Uh, next time I'll probably just do one bag at a time. Um, it looks like you have a lot of them to, to patch up. Yeah, it's going to be most of them. Yeah. Yeah, the marshmallows are kind of tricky in and of themselves just because, like, you know, they have little pockets and all that. Yeah. Chuck them into do so well in that. They're a little bit more irregular than you might think. Yeah. Shape wise too. Just let that run back. That's the neat thing about the other one is like it's such a simple machine that you can always get to chop it. You can always get to a spot where oh, you yeah. can like scrape the knife. You can always. And this one you can only get chop it from a certain spot. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's. It's got its benefits too. Yeah. Pros and cons. Yeah. Well, 
least it's a nice part about like these ones is if it gets like stuck on a gap or something, it, uh, it usually piles up a little bit, so then yeah. you can just like kind of smush the chocolate back in. It spreads out a little bit for you. You feel like you're painting? Like an <laughs> a artist? A little bit. <laughs> Prefer artiste. It'd be kind of cool. Painting in chocolate? Hmm. Whoa. You're stealing my snacks, Steve. Not so fast. You violated the law. That's right, tough guy. Look at that. Show me. Whoa. It's a good turtle pop. The camera does not want to focus today. Whoa. No way. Is it in the batteries? No, just the lens. Super, super nitpicky. Steve, I think you got something on your back here. What? I don't know, there's just a few things. I don't know if you noticed or not. How's that? Good. So you were just making some, making some of these last week, right? <laughs> Seemed like it. Yeah. <laughs> right back to it, yeah. huh? <laughs> Seemed like it was, I think it was last week. I know it was really, you know, relatively soon just because I think I made a video on it. Yeah. I think it was the week before. Yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah. Time flies. And you're having fun. Is that what you call it? Uh-huh. <laughs> Every time I see them, I want to eat them, but I can't. So. I know, it. they're so good, huh? Yeah. Yeah, Marshmallows, caramel, and pecans. Yeah. Boy. And chocolate. Yeah. And, yeah, and chocolate. If you couldn't guess. Simple concoction, but oh, a little chocolate on the stick. Whoa! Oh, it's extra. So no, extra. no charge extra, you know. Wow, no charge. No. Nope. Steve, you're such a nice guy. I know. <laughs> you're so kind. <laughs> Doing all these nice things for the people. <laughs> You'll allow them to get dried chocolate on their hands, you know. No charge. No extra charge for us. Oh uh, no. Extra charge. charge. Oh no extra charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, how many trays of these you got to do? You got uh, four more of these in the fridge. Whew. Yeah, Terry just came in here and cracked the whip. Yeah, wow. She said, she said, she said is this your first tray? Is that it? Is that it? When did you get here? What? I just came in. Last time, what are you, the night shift? Yep. The changing of the guard? Craig got really tired since his trip, you know. His, his clock's all <laughs> screwed up, so he had to go home and sleep now. He's got the jet lag? Yep. At 6 p.m., he's got to go home and sleep for the night. Yeah, time for, no, he's probably going to the really early bird special. Yeah, no, he went to the grocery store. For the groceries? Uh, People watching. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Yeah, that's why I go. Carry on. I'll see you. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> I do like this new technique too. Yeah. Seems like it's less uh, difficult and easier to get more pops done. Yeah, I'm trying to go fast, yeah. believe it or not. Quick Steve's all about this, the speed. Good job, Steve. Now we got turtles. Turtle power. Wait, oh yeah, these are, wait, what are these now? Turtles. 
I was just, there was a lot what of turtles think, going on. I don't know, I thought in my brain I was still like thinking about the turtle pops over there. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that there's just double turtles going on. Do you need to think about it for a second? Yeah, I don't We had to get over the turtle hurdle? Yeah, I was a little slow to get over the turtle hurdle. It's all right. At least you're starting to come out of your shell. <laughs> Can you think of any more? I don't know. Are you punting on empty? Oh. Uh, 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 <laughs> you win this one, all right? I pun your stand. Yeah. I was trying to think of something with like tortoise or shell. Shells. Yeah. It's enough to make you tear up and cry. You know terrapin turtles? No, turtles. that's a niche one. You got me though. There you go. I believe you. I'm sure we'll hear about it in the comment section. Be like, how did you not know about terrapin turtles? Yeah. There's an old Grateful Dead album, Terrapin Station. Really? Hmm. We all know Grateful Dead knows their turtles. Mm, very much so. Whoops, uh oh. That oh was no. too close. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, double caramel. Oh, I'm gonna hear about that one from my sister. <laughs> Lots of trays done. Have you just been doing this today? Uh, no, I've done a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Did a bunch. I filled some fluff cups. Well, the fl if you open up one of the fridges, it's full of fluff. Mm -hmm. And peanut butter. I have to go back and top those after I finish these. It's never a dull moment. Not around here. You see what I'm saying though? Yeah. Like, you know, they'll make it through. It's just, you know, they're not going around. Put them in their place. You just gotta give them a nice punching. Yeah, a little punching with the knife. Oh, that sounds, that sounds a little punching with the knife. Whoa. Max Mafia. Uh, I'm just I'm just pushing stuff around on the belt here. Yeah, one minute you're pushing things around on the belt, next thing you know, you got your knife halfway deep in a pair. Yeah, you, you better. You, if you're a pair, you better watch you out. Better watch out. This butter knife, it's not just made for pushing chips around on your rope. It's for buttering. Well, yeah, that's that's another use. Yeah. One use. Yeah. It, it's pretty multifaceted. I gotta say. You know what you wouldn't expect? <laughs> Knots right butter knives are actually really hard to find. Oh really? Right? Try for shocker, isn't it? I didn't know. More chips. More chips. See, How many of these do you have to do tonight? You said you're gonna do like five bags? Uh we've gotten it down to like twenty minutes bag. It's been a while since I've done it, so I don't know if it'll take me longer than that or not. And you know, I got it. I was a little pushed back between having to fill this up and with yeah. some other stuff, but uh, but yeah, I don't know. I'm picking four or five bags at least. Just get my lens on the edge of the conveyor belt. Ooh. Not the conveyor belt, the actual machine. Don't worry, it didn't touch the. <laughs> yeah, get your dirty camera out of here. Get your dirty camera out of here. What do you think you're doing with the camera guy? I don't know. You think people from Boston listen to us do that? They're just like guys, like, what are you, what are you even doing? Did you see the Super Bowl commercial oh. with the Boston guys? Yeah. With John Krasinski, and I wasn't looking up at first. I had no idea it was John Krasinski. Like I thought he, I thought he did a great accent. Yeah. What do you mean the cop box? The cop box by itself? He's a ghost cop. It was amazing. It was pretty good. Yeah. What, what was? I really liked that one, and I really liked some other one that I can't remember right now. I love that. I like that other one that. Wait. Yeah. I'm like. Uh, there's a lot, so. I try to like pay enough attention to be entertained, but not enough to like you know, be influenced by the ad, you know? I like the Rick and Morty Pringles one. They're gonna have their own line of Pringles cans and stuff. Oh, are I they? saw the, like, the Pickle Rick cans coming off the conveyor belt line, and I was like, oh! I'm just excited for Pickle Pringles, man. <laughs> I, I like being a good pickle chip. Heck yeah. Do you have those the spicy pickle chips that Lays was doing while they were out? No. Well, I probably can't have them, but, oh. you know. But oh, I want to keep having the dill pickle ones. Wait, what? Like, Lay's has the dill pickle brand. Yeah, ones still. I like those. Those are really good cube. You just, like, you don't have spice well or something? Or? Well, it might have milk in it, a lot of chips. Really? Yeah. 
I don't do the milk. Yeah, I don't know. You know what? This last just a time. Most of my life. I don't know if you Yeah. I know you were telling me that because because of course Craig is so pushy. He's trying to get everyone to convert to vegan. No. Yeah, really. It's like but, I mean, you about us. Or but something. you've like skipped. You've skipped the hardest part. So. Because a lot yeah. of people, when they're like, I could never, I could never do that because of dairy, which is understandable, you know, or cheese. People are like, I love cheese, yeah, which cheese I get. Cheese is good, but eh, I was <laughs> never huge on cheese either. I like cheese, but yeah. Listen, I like cheese too. I think Stewart's cotton candy ice cream that would be one of the hardest things to give up. And brisket, like that's what. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know if I could ever really do it because I think I'm always going to want to eat brisket. Think yeah. That's what you think until your taste buds change. So you get in there. So you're brains. six months into a vegan only diet. Listen, I've made it three weeks and I stopped thinking about cheese. And I used to be the biggest cheese eater in the world. Big now, if I have too cheesy of like, like big cheese stuff, really? I, I, I'm like, yeah, it's too much. I'm like, I can't. That My brother's like that, where like he doesn't even like too much cheese on his cheeseburgers and stuff. And yeah. like, but I used to be like, the, I want four cheese, oh, triple yeah. cheese, you know, everything. I get that. Like, I love like a nice gooey layer of cheese on top of everything, but uh, I still think I, th I think it's brisket. Brisket and ribs. That's what would stop me. I get you. You're a dinosaur barbecue. I'm gonna go there and clean. You clean a couple racks. I've definitely taken a whole rack home wow. and like a pint of you know the mac Woo. and cheese. Yeah. And then like you're fighting to stay asleep or stay awake. Yeah, 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 you're uh, yeah. you're bobbing in and out of consciousness. I got the itis. I got the itis. That's the best part of Thanksgiving is having that. Mm. I don't care if people say they're like, I don't want to be sleeping. I'm like, what do you mean? Half fall asleep, watching a football game. There's cheesecake or cookies or whatever you want, oh, just yeah. in case. It's the best day of the year. It's the best day of the year. 